everyone in a previous video i talked about what chemical formulas so in this video in this short video we'll be dealing shortly with um, chemical equations and without wasting time let's dive into it so now this is an example of an equation we have h2s plus so2so now in this in this in, in this particular type of equation let me let me magnify so in this type of equation we have um, h2s combined with h2s combined with so2 to give um h2o um plus um plus um h2 plus um sulfur yes sulfur so now basically what that means is that h2s which is hydrogen sulfide combines with so2 to give h2o plus s now today we're talking about what subscripts are subscripts are these letters that are down when you talk about h2s that's the number down that letter that number down is called a subscript then when you have um, radicals when you have um, power when you have copper copper um, and uh, copper co copper ion so that is that that plus that two plus on top is called the superscript then we have coefficient which is the numbers before that precede your your um, atoms so and whenever you have a number before your atom it's, it's the number of atoms that 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 represents now we have um we have arrows so and then for chemical equations we have to deal with what's called arrows so these arrows tell us the direction of the equation whether forward or backward and if it is both forward and backward it's known as irreversible reaction and then we have what is called them um, two we have double arrows the arrows will be pointing in opposite directions that's for reversible reaction but for this in this case we are dealing with just um, um single reactions so this this type of reaction these types of reactions are basically known as um, double um double displacement or rather double decomposition so wh when you um when one atoms exchange radicals and some and one of them becomes um, becomes precipitated so then we have what is called symbols now whenever we write all these um, chemical equations we often make use of symbols and these symbols we use it to represent the state of matter for example in this NaCl this salt it is aqueous salt and then this um, PBNO3 it is um it is um aqueous too it's also aqueous then the PBCl which is formed it is um solid so in this in this this type of reaction is specifically a um, precipitation reaction. So when you have them um, lead chloride precipitated from um, the reaction, then we have um, sodium um, sodium trapped naturally that is also aqueous. So and then for the for the first one, you have H two S is a gas combined with SO two is also a gas, and then that gives um H two water is a liquid, and so for that will be a solid, often a solid. So I'll, let me confirm that. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, that is that is good. That is good. So now here yeah, we are going to do deal with two different methods of balancing equations. The first method is basically by try and error, and the second method is by using coefficient method. So basically, in this try try and error method, you are going to count the number of atoms on either side. For example, if I want to balance them, the hydrogen, I will just count them. All right, if I wanted to balance the sulfur. Yes, I want to balance the sulfur. I can just put, or let me start from oxygen. If I want to balance the oxygen, we have H2S plus SO2 give H2O plus S. Now on the left hand side, there are three, there are two modes of oxygen, but the right hand side there is one. So I can put a um, what is called the coefficient two behind this um, H2O. So that coefficient will multiply both the hydrogen, that's the two atoms of hydrogen, and the one atom of oxygen. So oxygen will become balanced. So this adding of coefficients to each is, is the trial error method. So I'll put two here. So, so that I, so that when I have four four atoms of um, oxygen, because when when I try to balance oxygen to two, I've I've created an imbalance in hydrogen. So to balance that, I have to put another two in um, the left hand side. And when I try to balance that, I have four atoms of three atoms of oxygen and one on the right hand side, three on the left, one on the right. So what I'll do is that I'll just put a um, a coefficient of three on the right hand side in order to balance every um every um, atom in the reaction so and then we also have other methods we have the um, coefficient method so basically let me let me use that for the number two basically you can now we have um, NaCl which is salt plus plus lead to have nitrate we have, we, to give them um, lead chloride plus um, sodium to have nitrate so now basically let's put four coefficients now there are four different compounds here one two three four let's call them A B C now let's start convert. Let's start. Um, let's let's start doing what's called them um, conservation of the atoms. Now basically, what that means is that basically you are going to pick any atom on either side of the equation. For example, if I pick sodium now, 
any atom that is not balanced. Let me pick um the um trioxy nitrate and um, radical. Now this there are two um trioxy nitrate radical NO3 in bracket. Then you put two source scripts on the under. Now there's two on the left hand side and there's one on the right hand side. So what I'll do is that I will basically multiply this B by that um source script. By, by that source script that will be two B. So what I want to do is that I will equate it to the right hand side. So but in this in this right hand side we have um the trioxy nitrate anion or radical. It is um it is having a, a D. So let's call it because this will put it in brackets. So this NO3 will consider it as a radical on its own. So let's say D times. There's no uh, source script, so we we'll automatically call it one. That's D times one. That's D. So that will be um, balancing. Then let's look look for any other element that is not in balance. For example, this chlorine is not in balance. So you can say A times M. There's no source script, so we'll automatically take it to be one for chlorine. A times one. That's A is equal to. Now on the other side of the equation, we have them. Um, PBCL2. There are two atoms of PBCL. So let's call that 2C. A is equal to 2C. So we can for for, for this basically yeah I can say we have um we we'll, we'll basically consider the um unbalanced atom. So now we we'll substitute any any value. But first of all let's let's look for a way that um these um, values can be constant so that they can depend on each other. Let's say um let's relate A with D. So you can say the value of A must be equal to the value of D. So let's say A is equal to D. Because if we try to conserve sodium, we have A times 1 for sodium. That is, there's no subscript after sodium. That's on the left hand side. That's A. Then this A times um, for the, on the right hand side for sodium, there's also no subscript. That's D times 1. That's D. A is equal to D. So then we can now substitute into, into the equation. Let's, let's say let A be D, right? So let's say um, 2B is equal to D. And um, instead of writing A, let's replace A by D. So then we can say 2B is equal to D, which is also equal to 2C. Then 2B is equal to 2C. So we, and automatically D will be what? B over 2. Sorry, automatically B will be D over 2. And also, since A is equal to D, A will be D, A will be D over 2. Sorry? Since um 2B is equal to 2C, right? That means B is equal to C. So if B is D over 2, then C will also be D over 2. Since they are equal, D over two. But then A is D, right? So let's let's say if if when D is two, if D is two, we can just substitute two in the equation two. So if D is two, B will be one. So that let's say D is two, then B will be one. And because this A is equal to this, so if D is two, A will also be two. So last, let's say um, if D is two, C will be what one. So let's insert our our formulas, our our coefficient. So for this A, we have two. So we're having two here. That's two 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 uh, molecules of sodium chloride. For this B, we have um, PBC. We have one, so that's one. Just keep it like that. You don't need to show the one. Then we have for the C, we have um, for the C, we also have um, one. Yes, I see. So we we'll just leave it as one. Yeah. Then for the D, we have two. So that's two. So the ratio is two ratio one, ratio one ratio two. So this is a, a, a these are the two major methods used to balance equations, chemical formulas, and equations. Thank you for watching.